Hey, peace, love, and light, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. This is Q, and I'm here to do a general reading. This is going to be called the They Pray and Pray on your downfall series, just to see who you have lurking in the background that could be potentially um, a threat or someone that could be jealous, envious. Um, I wanted to keep the energy light and beautiful and fluid for yesterday, Valentine's Day, V-Day. Um, but today we're going to get to business. <laughs> I will everyone as well. Everyone is peace. I will you all uh, felt loved yesterday. Even if you don't have uh, someone to share that special day with, I hope that you were able to share it at least with your children um, or able to at least show yourselves that love. Um, you know, painting your nails, doing a little henna tattoo maybe doing your makeup doing your hair whatever it was self-love self-care is really what valentine's day v-day is all about whether you have someone to share it with or not but um let's go ahead delve into the reading um this is going to be a general reading so my spiel is eat the fish spit out the bones if it doesn't apply let it fly by do not try to force a story to be a story Know that you're more than just your sun sign. So check your moon, your rising, your Venus, your Mercury, your Mars. Just check your other placements for a more clear and concise message for you. This is also timeless. Whenever you find yourselves clicking on the video is exactly the divine timing intended for you all to do that. For anyone that may be new to the channel, welcome. I too am a Scorpio. I am an empath. I am a channeler. So I intuitively pick up on the messages in the cards and I'm also Claire audience. So I do listen to music and incorporate those messages with the card, uh, you know, the cards uh, and the messages tend to come up very beautifully um, and they tend to really blend very beautifully. Right now we have Prodigy and Alchemist and this is called Breeze. Um, so I feel, you know, with the title in and of itself, um, I'm picking up with alchemists. I do feel like you all have alchemized a lot of change in your lives. Like you all have really taken on the role of co-creators um, and life is a breeze right now. And that could very well be the reason why you may have some haters. You may have some people that could be like literally stalking your life, um, trying to figure out your recipe, trying to figure out your source. Um, and that could be very frustrating, especially when someone is in a secret competition, but yet you're still climbing, you're still growing, you're still evolving, you're still ascending, and they're doing everything in their power, uh, to knock you off, uh, that pedestal. Um, so some of these individuals could be as, uh, demonic or hateful, uh, to use, you know, witchcraft or spell work or, um, magic to try to interrupt or interfere some sort of flow, whether that be a flow of wealth, abundance, or just uh, happiness overall. But we're going to take a little look uh, to see what's coming and going out, going on. Um, so let's do some house cleaning. First and foremost, let's call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestor spirit guides, deities, our ascended masters, animal totems, earth mother, guy, universe source, the divine most high God, our creator to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala and Mama Oya, Baba Ogun, to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards, help me to pick up on the messages vibrationally, intuitively, uh, help me to pick up on the number synchronicity, and so it is, so motion. So mote it be. Ashe, ashe, ashe. So I'm, I'm, I'm literally tripping up on my words. Uh, so there can be um, a literal, like somebody trying to block your, your form of expression or someone could be gaslighting or using gossip or lies. Um, I'm hearing words of spell, spells bind, words of spell, spells bind. So somebody could literally just be speaking ill of you, be speaking negatively about you. Um, right now we have finesse and Sinquist, and this is called soul sisters. So I'm picking up the fact that this could be somebody that's pretending to be your soul sister, um, pretending to be your, your, your sister, your people, your friend. Um, this could be even literally like a family member, um, that could be kind of like jealous, envious. Um, so be mindful. I'm here. Watch 
you know, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing that, you know, on that Dr. Dre watch. Um, so there was a Dr. Dre song and I, and I remember them saying like, watch. So, and I keep hearing it. That's why I keep saying it. So be mindful. And what I have on, uh, as I picked up my deck, I want to show you just so you could see, uh, we have show them how to move in a room full of vultures. And it says deception. Um, and it says, um, uh, vultures show them how to room in a full room full of vultures and it says protected divinely so you are protected um, from whoever these haters may be from ever the who from whoever these frauds may be uh, because I do feel like these are people who um, are literally being um, they're literally pretending to be something they're not and I do see that you'll be cheesing from ear to ear uh, from some sort of new connection uh, because it, it says cheesing from ear to ear the courtship. Let your guard down. And that could be why you have some folks jealous because they're seeing you uh, go, you know, come into like a very beautiful connection. I also have promotion, pay increase, lucrative business deals and be thankful you did it. So something that you're doing, just like I said, your success is frustrating someone someone's really pissed off that you're successful um and who is this we got raheem divine and the name of this album is back to the future and it's called wait on me so that's the guru rising power so that's um guru and um it's called wait for me and this feature in raheem divine so somebody wants you to wait for them. Uh, I feel like they are breaking themselves free. Somebody could be breaking themselves free from a connection. Or maybe somebody thought you was going to wait for them and you kept it moving. But I do see here the um, card backstabbing, plotting, scheming. And you're protected. Your angels, your ancestors, your spirit team protects you. You've been very patient. I feel like you've been very patient because you're... You're being more meticulous about what you want, but you do have a secret admirer here that watches you. So not only do you have haters watching, but you also have like a secret admirer that's watching you. And as I said in the beginning with that prodigy and alchemist, you all are alchemizing the changes in your lives because you are co-creators. Uh, we have a secret admirer here likes what they see. So you're manifesting something new. So let's see what's coming and going out, going on for Scorpio. So the secret admirer and life is good. Both of those cards flew out. So this is why um, I feel that there's an energy of jealousy and envy um, that's lurking in the background. Because I feel like you have a lot of success right now. Um, there's things that's moving for you. Uh, you've come out of like a, tox a toxic karmic cycle. And I feel like now you're coming into you know, just brighter days and a happier um, circumstance. And you're no longer riddled with stress, anxiety, financial conflicts, like you are literally in a better place. And I feel that your vibration, your energy has changed because you have a more profound love of self. You're taking care of yourselves, you're loving yourselves, you're nurturing yourselves. And because you're doing that, that's now making you more attractive. So you have a lot of people that are secretly admiring you from afar. And they're in hiding right now, but they do like what they see. They like the changes that you have made. Um, and they like the, the, the transformation overall that you have had. Um, we have good things, take time to create, patience, young grasshopper. Um, on the bottom of the deck. So I feel like you've been patiently waiting for what you feel is um, is a blessing. You're waiting for something that you feel is your answered prayer. So maybe that could be in the form of some sort of promotion at your job or maybe just a lucrative business deal goes through where someone, you know, offers you a business loan. Like whatever it is that you've been praying for and asking for, I feel like uh, the divine is telling you to be patient because those particulars are being worked on behind the scenes. And so there is improvement. You know, there is a brighter future. There is, you know, things are going to be looking out and working out fairly for you. But you have to just be patient so that these beautiful things can start to manifest in your reality. 
So we have um, Sherry Dennis, and this is called I Love You. So this secret admirer, I feel, is going to eventually start coming toward you and to uh, express that they love you. I feel like they are realizing um, life is complete with you. You know, they feel like your wish fulfillment uh, because the way my life is good card is depicted. It says life is good and then it, there's an infinity symbol and then it says what you put out you get back. So this is all of your good deeds by you planting good seeds, planting in good faith, being hopeful, being optimistic, healing yourselves, transmuting the pain, turning it into power by you being a co-creator with source, by you realizing how to ground your energy, how to find yourselves in equilibrium and still, you know, speaking those positive words of affirmation. Uh, this is how you've been able to manifest a lot of good things into your life. And I feel like the secret admirer has literally watched you transform right before their eyes. So you're no longer the same person that they first started to admire. It's like they're admiring you more and more. And I feel that because you have someone coming in um, that really admires you, that's taken the time to get to know you, to get to know what you like. Uh, I feel like this person has grown to love you and not just admire you, but you, but to love you because we have Sherry Denise playing. I love you. So with good things, take time to create. That's absolutely uh, why this may seem like it's been taking a long time is because, as we said, you know, those those really uh, intricate parts that you ask for, you know, those those really those fine details um, that you ask the divine for in prayer uh, or those petitions or uh, some of those characteristics and attributes that you write down in your manifestation journals. It's like the divine wants to deliver exactly what you have asked for. And so that's why it seems to be taking longer um, than usual. But good things take time to create, just as my card said. So let's see what else is coming in for Scorpio's divine spirit, love and light. Who is praying and praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? Uh, spirit of love and light. What's coming in for Scorpios? Thank you. So we have selfish, loving me, myself, and I. And then we also have praying on your downfall. Watch them. So this is why somebody's jealous because you're no longer giving them your time and your attention. You're being very selfish with your time and energy and who you divvy it out to. Uh, because as I've been saying, like you look at your time as currency now and you realize that you've wasted a lot of time on people that didn't deserve you, that didn't deserve the kindness that you may have shown them. Um, I feel like you're also loving, you know, the, the, the getting to know what you like again, getting back into uh, perhaps honing certain skills and talents and gifts, um, just being softer with yourself, more delicate with yourself, more patient with yourself. Um, and you're also just discovering how dope you are, how beautiful you are, how creative or talented you are. Uh, and you appreciate that about yourself. I feel like there's this strong love of self, this strong appreciation for the self. And it's because you have healed uh, from a lot of the traumas that you may have experienced. And there's people off in the background praying on your downfall because they're a little jelly that you have taken your power back um, and that you are no longer putting them before yourselves. You're no longer uh, self-sabotaging or self-sacrificing uh, to appease and please them. So these individuals are kind of watching and studying because I did pick up the fact that you had a lot of eyes kind of watching you. And um, these individuals are praying on your downfall, praying you fall from grace. Um, and we have Fabulous, uh, and this is called St. Elmo's Fire. So I feel like, you know, with St. Elmo's Fire, uh, first and foremost, I feel like you're living a very fabulous life right now. But this person uh, that's praying on your downfall, they may have been very flighty in and out, uh, very impulsive and unreliable when it came to what you needed uh, from the partnership, from the friendship, from the family dynamic. But you were always readily available to help. And this is something that they are missing because you were overextending yourself to some degree while this individual did not reciprocate anything with this flighty energy. So it's like this is a type of energy that kind of comes in, 
lays it on real thick and then they ghost you and that is just the way to keep you dangling on and so I feel like you caught you got hip to that and so you started to set up boundaries and guard yourself from that type of energy with the selfish loving me myself and I so they're jealous of that they're angry and with St. Elmo's fire um, I hear the word rage I hear the word frustration um, and I feel like it's more so because they no longer have that control. And so now they're plotting and scheming on how to take you down, on how to um, knock you off your high horse or your pedestal. So this is an energy. Uh, you may know who this is because this would be the type of person that when you're going through something, when you're in the thick of it, you, you, you reach out to these individuals or this individual and you never can reach them. Their phone is always just ringing. You can't even leave a voicemail. When you call them, they don't respond. They leave you unread. Or, you know, this is the type of person after everything, after the dust settles, you know, they'll pop up on the grid and act like everything is cool. And so you got to be mindful of that energy because what that is is technology. That's gaslighting. This is somebody that uh, wants to appear like they're cool, like they're uh, there for you, but like their lives are so busy. And literally their lives aren't busy. What they're doing is they are busy really uh, uh, stalking your life and seeing how happy you are becoming. And in your happiness, it makes them frustrated. Uh, because as I said in the beginning, before I even touch the cards, there's someone that could potentially be in a secret competition with you. And you may not know that. So let's see what we have coming and going out on the for Scorpios. Who's praying on Scorpios down for and why? And still light and light. Okay, so we got child's play and you will know. Trust your intuition and your inner gumption. So this is someone very childish, just as I said. And then we got emotional roller coaster time to get off on the bottom of the deck. So this is somebody that likes to play a lot of mind games. This is somebody that likes to toy with your emotions. They like to get you angry, likes to get you frustrated. They like you to get out of character because when you do that, then that lets them know they're still in control. So even though you may have guarded yourself and blocked this individual, maybe you have distanced yourself from certain people. Just the mere fact that they can push your buttons and get you to um, respond um, or react in a way that is out of character for where you are emotionally, mentally, spiritually right now, that brings joy and satisfaction. And I feel like this is a very unhealthy connection, unhealthy relationship. And I feel that that's something you've discovered a long time ago, which is why you started to take your energy and pull your energy back from these individuals. And once you started to do that, these individuals started to resort to playing mind games, mind fuckery. Uh, like I said, master manipulating uh, you by um, just pulling on your heartstrings or just dangling, um, you know, dangling certain things in front of you uh, in hopes that you would bite the bait. Uh, but I feel like you already can feel and sense that someone's intentions towards you aren't pure. They aren't good. They don't really like you. But they, they um, I'm hearing the word, they stomach you uh, just for this, whatever this sick game is. Uh, so it's like you got to watch people's um, actions. So we got R. Kelly, and I can't see the name of it, so I'm going to just switch to the next, next song. And this is called, um, this is called Lounging, LL Cool J featuring Total. Total. So yeah, so this is definitely somebody just sitting around, uh, right, they, they're around you. You know, they're still trying to insert themselves in your lives. Um, and I feel like you will know just by the way that you, this person makes you feel you know, just by the way the connection is, you don't feel like it's very reciprocal. Uh, but this is someone that definitely plays a lot of games with this emotional roller coaster ride time to get off. Um, so success just flew out uh, of the next deck. I was about to, to uh, pull to clarify and this card flew out. So this is absolutely the reason why they could be very um, frustrated is because you're successful. Uh, it's because you are coming into some sort of abundance. You may have some sort of wish fulfillment, some sort of um, 
promotion pay increase business deal, a loan lucrative lucrative business deal like this is expansion. Uh, so somebody's definitely jelly because you are successful. Um, you are a miracle and you deserve the best. And I feel like you know that, which is why you're loving yourselves more. You're loving um, and caring for yourselves first and foremost. That is the priority in your life is putting you first um, because that is exactly, you know, self-love makes you more attractive ultimately. So whoever this secret admirer is, I feel this person is also very successful, very uh, much a self-made individual. So they've been through you know, the struggle and they've really worked themselves up to a place where they are, um, you know, financially savvy. Uh, they may, you know, really be like a boss. They may be someone that is in a high position um, in their career, someone who's like self-taught, but they are also successful. I feel like you're also manifesting uh, some sort of new connection because we have, um, this is called lounging remix. So, and what they say is, who do you love? Are you for sure? So, with the secret admirer, this person does realize they love you. Um, because we did have that I love you song um, earlier. So, this person does feel a, a strong sense of love and admiration and adoration. Um, and they also see that you're very um, successful. You're very stable. You're very... Um, independent, self-sufficient, um, you know, you, you got your own coins and that's something that's also attractive is seeing that you are, you know, not only, uh, domestic, but you also are someone that, you know, you know how to go get your own. You're not someone that would be codependent, uh, to someone else, you know, so this is an energy of someone, you know, this person that you're attracting is really looking at that as a, a plus, you know, because maybe they're so used to just always having to uh, take care of the people that they dated or courted. And they see that you are already, you know, very self-sufficient. And that's attractive. You know, it's not that they wouldn't be willing to help you or to support you, but it's it's just a plus that you have your own level of success, that you're successful on your own and that you won't be reliant on them to survive. So I'm fixing my cards now, if you don't know. <laughs> so let's see what we got coming in, going out, going on. But yeah, this person sees that you are, you know, very, um, you would be like, you would be very valuable to them. You know, you're very valuable. They see your worth. They see that you're domestic. They see you're down to earth. And it's a very attractive thing. Okay, it's very attractive. And we now have uh, Miles Davis. And this is called Why Do I Love You? So those are all the reasons why this person loves you. Because you're self-sufficient. So let's go ahead and clarify these messages. Divine Spirit. Who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? So that bonus message that came out was success. So I do feel like this is your bonus message that success is coming in. You all are very protected. Uh, you have fiery wall of protection by Archangel Mikael. And Archangel Mikael is a very powerful angel. Um, he protects um, by any means, any strategy. He cuts you free from those karmic cords, from the curses, from the yokes, the... Uh, generational curses like he will cut you free from those things so I feel like if anyone is throwing anything at you it would behoove them to stop because Archangel Mikael is absolutely uh, your guardian this could be some of you all's spiritual parent uh, you may have a very strong connection to Archangel Mikael perhaps some of you all are um, doing that nine week Archangel Mikael prayer um, and if you aren't, perhaps this is just telling you all that you all may need to do that nine week Archangel Mikael prayer to uh, position yourselves in that fiery wall of protection uh, to, you know, ward off any of this negativity that could be aimed at you, uh, especially by these people that are very calculating um, and strategically trying to plot and, and plan and scheme and scam your demise. So it may behoove some of you all to start doing that Archangel Mikael prayer. Today is Tuesday. Um, so you might want to do that. Today is the best day to start. No better day to start than now. Um, 
but you are absolutely undubitably protected. So let's see, um, why is Secret Admirer here for who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why divine spirit of love and light? So we got, what is this? And it says emotional investments, longevity, stability, and security. So that's what this person is willing to invest. And I feel like that's what the two of you both will bring to the table is the emotional security, the emotional intelligence, and just the overall love language. That's the love language you're looking for. You're not looking for someone to come in and to toy with your emotions, to be flighty in and out playing these childish games. Um, and having you on some sort of emotional roller coaster ride, you're looking for someone that's willing to uh, plant seeds and roots. And the secret admirer is absolutely coming in with that as that um, as with that as an, as their full intention, um, because we have they love what they see. So they've been watching you for a while, and they do see you as a good investment. They do see you as someone that they can build with, that they can grow with, that they can have a family with. Um, this is someone that's also very self-made, uh, very stable, very practical, very resourceful. And they see you as someone very domestic, loving, nurturing, caring, kind, paternal, maternal. And so when someone wants to invest long term, uh, it's because they can see the future. They could see you as someone that they could have that happy house, happy spouse um, vibration with or connection with. And I feel like they also see your qualities, um, that you are beautiful. Uh, internally um, as well as externally um, and we got Queen Latifah and this is called ladies first so this is the type of gentlemen or alpha male ladies that will put you first they're not going to put their own needs first they're not going to um, you know insert other people into the relationship or make other women feel like they're the queen or they're the main one they're going to always put you first and put your feelings first your your heart first uh because they're invested in you they see your worth and your value um we got lion ass the truth ain't in you uh which is um on the bottom of the deck so you dealt with a lot of people who could have been very deceptive, you know, people who would just say things because it sound nice, it sound good, but their actions weren't matching up. And, you know, maybe you were in a connection with someone who said that they would put you first or said things like, I wouldn't let you hit the ground if I was falling myself. And it was like, they said the words, but their actions didn't align um, because they, they, they made you fall. I feel like you, you and this individual may have felt fallen out. Um, so life is good for you. And I feel like whoever um, is coming in absolutely is aware of how they must treat you because you do have this very strong sense of love um, for yourself and for the journey, um, you know, for your for your experience overall, you know, for the fact that you've been able to cut yourselves free from whatever karmic lessons, from whatever karmic situation, soul ties, um, and you're, you're now free. So with this lion ass truth ain't in you, um, someone's very, very, uh, jealous, envious, uh, someone's coming in hot and heavy, uh, pretending to want this good life with you because I have lying ass the truth ain't in you and then we have choose wisely everything that glitters is not gold so I feel like you have two people coming in one is a past um karmic an ex and another is your twin flame soulmate or your uh divine counterpart and I feel like with this choose wisely everything that glitters is not gold I feel not only is this person that's coming in just full of lies and deceit uh, full of gaslighting and mind fuckery and manipulation, um, you're going to have a choice and you're going to need to use that inner gumption that came out because uh, it says you will know, trust your inner gumption. That was the last card that came out and that flew out with child's play and maturity. So not only will you have a grown ass man or a grown ass woman approaching you that is very self-sufficient, independent, someone that has um, you know, the same love language as you, but you're also going to have some sort of ex or some sort of narcissist coming back 
uh, because they see that you are entering into this new love story, this new connection with someone that is really good for you. And this person is putting you first. This person is very charming. This is someone that will court you. This is someone that will treat you good. Um, and this is because this is someone that I feel you've manifested and you're receiving some sort of wish fulfillment, which is why the divine was telling you to be patient. Good things take time to create. So with this lying ass, the truth ain't in you and choose wisely, you're going to have a choice. Um, and you're going to need to make a choice from a place of um, knowingness, not just how something feels or how it seems or how it appears. You have to know what's best for you. You have to, to act from that place of power now. So let's see why is life is good. What you put out, you get back. Because I feel someone received karma for their lies and their deception. And so we have Beyonce, sorry. So somebody's going to come back pretending to be sorry because they see that life is good for you now and you're moving on with your life. See that? Life is good. And so it says you are a miracle and you deserve the absolute best. So you've discovered that about yourself. You've discovered, like I said, how fly you are, how dope you are, what you bring to the table. You don't have to convince somebody um, that you are who you are. People that are on your vibration will just know this. So this person that's coming back um, that karmic is possibly going to apply, uh, some pressure in terms of trying to, um, get you back. And they may say, I'm sorry. They may apologize. And it's only because they see someone else moving in and they see you being more open and receptive to that connection. Uh, but you realize now that you are a miracle and you deserve the best. So you, your standards are higher. Um, and this person, like I said, they're coming back. We got to uh, make your next move your best move, circles. So this person's trying to keep you uh, going around and around in circles. They're trying to keep you in that cycle, that karmic cycle. They're trying to make you repeat that same cycle, which is why lying ass, the truth ain't in you, showed up. Uh, this is the emotional roller coaster ride that you've been riding for a while. And so this person may come back, as I said, and lay it on thick, saying, I'm sorry. They may even cry. I see someone crying, um, but they're really just being deceptive. They're really just using any means, any strategy, uh, because we still have praying on your downfall. Watch them there. Um, on the bottom of the deck and child's play. So this is someone that will use emotional manipulation. Um, they will use mental manipulation. Um, they will use manipulation uh, to get what they want. So they will even say, I'm sorry. And you just have to mind. Um, you have to be mindful to trust your own inner gumption and how you feel. And also read energy, speak energy, read energy. Because this person is not sorry. They're not sorry at all. Okay? So let's see. What, why is selfish loving me, myself, and I, and enjoying getting to know me better here? For who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? They have a message of love and light, divine spirit. Why is selfish loving me, myself, and I? Thank you, spirit. And what did I just say? I said, you have to speak their language. It's, I said, you have to look and listen to the, the energy you know, feel the energy that they're given. And it says, what does their energy speak to your spirit? So that's why you're being selfish, because you know that this person does not mean well. And with always be building on the bottom of the deck, this is what you're focused on. You're focused on building yourself back up. You're focused on building your life, building your future. You're focused on rebuilding. That's what you're focused on because this person destroyed. That's a tower moment. You went through a painful loss. You went through emotional loss. You went through all type of heartache and loss. And now you're rebuilding and you're being selfish and you're not giving this person the time that they were so used to um, taking up. You know, you're not giving them the energy either. This is an energy vampire. And so you're going according to how this person makes you feel. And what you feel is that every time they come around, you clam up, you get defensive, you, 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 you block them um, because that's that's your intuition. You're trusting your intuition, that inner gumption. Um, so regardless of their apologies, uh, the behavior hasn't changed. It's the same MO. So you're focused on building. You're focused on getting yourselves back to a place where you feel stable, where you feel, you know, successful. Um, and we have Ramsey Lewis. 
and this is called sun goddess. So you're happy. You're happy alone. You're happy doing you. You're happy because it says selfish, loving me, myself, and enjoying getting to know me better. And then what does their energy speak to your spirit? And this isn't Ramsey Lewis, pardon me. This is um, earth, wind, and fire. So you are the sun goddess. You know, you are that beautiful ray of light. You represent beauty, strength, power. Uh, you represent optimism. That's what you have really um, become illuminated to the truth of who you are, that you are a goddess. This is your divine awakening. You know, this is your divine. This is like your. That divine uh, intervention from spirit, letting you know, you know, that you are the goddess, that you deserve to be treated as such, that you are a god that you deserve to be treated as such. So never settle for less. Um, and you're trusting what you feel energetically when it comes to people and with always be building. And then right underneath that is you have people who are in secret competitions with you. Keep your business to yourself. So what did I say earlier that you had secret competition and bam, here it is. And I want to show you because I like to show and prove. So this is what you have here. You have people who are in secret competition. Part in the background, I'm in my son's room. So this person is pretending to want to build with you. And that's only because they see that you have rebuilt, um, you know, after they destroyed what you two were building together. So this is that karmic energy trying to lie, to steal, to cheat, to to pray and plan on your downfall. But you are you are literally uh, 10 steps ahead of the game because you've blocked their energy out because you're trusting your intuition and you're reading their energy. You know, it's like the, uh, your energy doesn't lie, you know, energy doesn't lie. So the, the person's words um, right about now doesn't mean anything to you. You are cl completely illuminated and clear. Um, you've had your epiphany um, as to who these individuals are and you're going according to the feeling. What does their energy speak to your spirit? And if their energy doesn't speak the right thing, then you're not dealing with them. But these people are seething at your ascension and at your growth. And it's because you have rebuilt. So let's go ahead. And these are the people. Yep. It says the grass was greener on the other side because they watered it. Your grass wilted. So this is that ex that may have jumped ship with you to go build with someone else only to discover the, gra the grass they was watering was plastic. And that's why it appeared to be better. That's why they had choose wisely because someone didn't make the right choice. And now they're trying to double back to save face to get you back. But now you're coming into a more divine connection with someone that you are equally yoked with. Uh, someone that you also share similar interests. Um, someone that is absolutely uh, there for the right reasons, willing to invest, build that family, that legacy. And I feel someone that will have your front, middle, back and side uh, because they're going to put you first. They're going to protect you. So let's see why is praying on your downfall. Watch them here for who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why. Why is praying on your downfall here for who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why the one spirit may have a message of love and light. I was praying on your downfall. Thank you, spirit. So two messages just came out. Look what came right back out. You have people who are in secret competitions with you. So that's why. So these people who are in secret competition and then you have your vulnerability is your superpower. So these are individuals who absolutely are going to try to pull on your heartstrings, use emotional manipulation, uh, try to tell you that they miss you, try to tell you they're sorry. And your vulnerability, uh, Scorpios, as water signs is uh, not only um, your intuition, but it's also your emotions. So you have to be emotionally intelligent. You have to be very intuitive, very discerning when it comes to uh, people's energy. That's why what does their energy speak to your spirit came out in terms of um, you know, clarifying selfish, loving me, myself and I. So you have to be very mindful, very cognizant that these people are very crafty and crafty is a pun word because I feel like they're using craft, witchcraft. Um, they could be using spell work. Um, this could be someone that literally could just be speaking uh, ill, speaking negatively, because uh, that is also a form of witchcraft. So these are people who are deceptive, gossiping, lying, um, trying to defame your character, assassinate your character. But your vulnerability is your superpower and your vulnerability is emotional intelligence. 
uh, your vulnerability is to use discernment, um, to trust your own intuition uh, when it comes to these individuals, because these individuals uh, definitely do not have your best interest at heart. So on the bottom of the deck, we have, I am an alchemist. I create the potions and elixirs to life. And I just want to show you that. And remember, I was, um, you know, that um, song by uh, Prodigy and Alchemist played. And that was the word that really struck out, stuck out to me. So you are an alchemist. So you are creating the potions and elixirs to life. You are absolutely um, very... Um, intricate you are a very intricate piece to this this puzzle here uh, because you are a co-creator with source so you already are very powerful the divine has already blissed you with the power with the intuition with the foresight to know what's going on to see the whole table to see the whole situation from that aerial um, view uh, from that bird's eye view if you will so you can see from a mile away um, who these culprits are. Uh, and so you just need to continue to create, continue to heal, continue to call in what you want, because I feel you're manifesting it. Why is child's play and maturity here for who's praying on Scorpio's downfall? And look at these evil eyes watching and lurking. Didn't I tell you, you had a lot of people watching and lurking and just, just minding your business. So be mindful not to share too much online, not to share too much, period. So we have what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So this person's childish games, it was only to help you to become your greatest and most powerful version of yourself. And then lying ass, the truth ain't, and then you came right back out and shift happens. So with shift happens, lying ass, the truth ain't in you, and what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. That's explaining all of the child's play, all of the games, all of the manipulation, all the mind fuckery, all the double talking, back talking, back tracking, prompt, empty promises. And this person now is resorting to stalking your life and studying you. It says, I always feel like somebody's watching me. So some of you all may feel like you have people watching you or people trying to, to bite your style or duplicate things that you do or speak like you or do what you do. It's just because these individuals are literally obsessed. They're obsessed with your life. They're obsessed with what you got going on and they're jealous because you are successful because they didn't see you re being able to rebuild after they destroyed that tower. They didn't see you being able to regain that security, that stability, and that success overall after they very strategically planned your demise. So these individuals that was planning your demise and planning, you know, your downfall, it's like they didn't they didn't foresee you being able to overcome that because with what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. You, you grew stronger. You, did, you, you had nothing more to rely on but your strength in those moments. And that's what's pissing them off. And so now they're having some technical difficulties uh, because we got Dr. O Octagon and this is uh, Cool Keith and this is called technical difficulties. So there's a lot of technical difficulties. Maybe these individuals are going to try to do certain things. Um, if you have online platforms, they're going to try to, you know, troll you or leave negative comments or thumb down your, you know, your videos, your pictures on your social media platform just to try to cause blockages. But remember, a thing only distracts you if you give it your attention. So if you don't give the negativity any attention, then you can't feed it, it can't grow, and then it'll just destroy itself. And that's literally what's going to happen because I feel like you have since removed these individuals from your 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 um your focus because you're focused on you now so you're not even giving them your attention a thing can only distract you if you give it your attention and that you're not doing so with these evil eyes you you like let them watch um this isn't just evil eyes though this is also like that secret admirer um this is also you getting recognition you getting a lot of um 
you know, a lot of um, perhaps you're going viral on something you're doing. Maybe you all have TikTok channels and you could be going viral through those means. Maybe you have a YouTube channel and some of your content is going viral. Uh, but I do feel like there's a lot of eyes watching you. There's a lot of viewership right now. And um, you just need to uh, be mindful of what it is you're sharing, what you're conveying on those platforms. But I also feel like you you know that you have a lot of haters. Um, you got a lot of naysayers. Uh, that could also be watching you a lot of uh, secret competition because it says you have people who are in secret competition with you. Mind your bit, um, keep your business to yourself. And these are individuals that are literally like uh, trying to duplicate your style and they hate what they can't duplicate. So that turns into um, anger, jealousy, envy. Um, when they see that you're continuing to succeed or you're continuing to uh, gain notoriety that they feel uh, they should have. So some of these individuals will go as far as to, um, like I said, try to bite your style, try to, to duplicate whatever it is you're doing, steal your whole, your, your sauce, you know, but they can't be you. They can, you know, and, and, and I always say, you know, there's a saying that, you know, imitation is, is a form, the best form of flattery, but I, it can be very annoying especially when you're up and coming or when you have a lot of passion for what you do and then you see someone duplicate your style or try to run with something that you've created, that you, you've you created. So that could be very frustrating. And some of you all may be going through that where you, you may have um, trademarked a certain thing or you may have a certain slogan or you may do something a very particular way and then you, you know, see someone else trying to do the same thing you're doing. And you may feel like they're gaining more uh, success or more notoriety, but all you could do is continue doing you, um, be you authentically, because the, the, the fakes and the phonies can be fake, but for so long before other people start to realize. So you continue to, to walk in your truth and trust the fakes will fall by the wayside because that's just how it works. You could be fake for so long, it's just it's just a matter of time before the jig is up. You know what I'm talking about? So right now we have um, Dr. Dre and this is called Lyrical Gang Bang. And it is officially 1010 on the clock. So 1010 is the endings, the endings and beginnings. I feel 1010 also represents the Ten of Swords as well as the Ten of Wands energy. So that is like literally you are done done Finn with a karmic cycle, but somebody's trying to, uh, have you repeating that cycle, have you, um, reliving it, re, 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 you know, um, just, just going through it all over again. And you just have to trust your own intuition. So let's see, why is you will now trust your inner gumption here for who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? And we have... I hide what I feel out of fear. Truth is, I love you came out. And the divine is telling you, you will know if that's true. <laughs> and we have you left me in my darkest times. That betrayal was unbearable. And then we have the angel numbers right underneath that. And then I'm sorry for pushing you away. I long for your smile, your conversation. You get me. And then love language. So I do feel like this is the real one. This person that's coming back. This is someone who has hid, hid their feelings, which is why they may be a secret admirer. Because I do feel like this is um, speaking to the secret admirer. And when they come back, this is like them returning. And the divine is telling you to trust your inner gumption. What is your spirit telling you? Uh, because you do have two people coming back. You have that ex, that karmic, toxic ex that just will, refuses to let you go. That likes to manipulate you, that likes to, you know, manipulate your energy. And then you have someone that is a secret admirer, that's a stand up guy and, um, you know, or feminine energy. And they they have been hiding their feelings, but now they're coming. Um, they're becoming more um, clear as to, you know, what they need to do uh, in order to get you back or to, in order to just let you know what they feel. So this person is feeling this this urge, you know, to to come towards you. Uh, this could be someone that left you um, out in the cold. Maybe they chose another option. 
um, and you may have felt betrayed by this person or maybe they felt like you just ghosted them out of the blue because we do see here uh, selfish loving me myself and I and enjoying getting to know me better so it is possible that you could have ghosted this person and and kind of blocked their energy disconnect detached disengaged and just went on your merry way and this person was really feeling um, feeling your loss feeling your absence heavily they they really missed you and i feel like with this angel numbers uh this is saying that they're receiving a lot of divine downloads interventions to reach out to you to communicate with you um and they're going to apologize because it says i'm sorry for pushing you away so maybe this person wasn't really emoting the way that you needed them to uh, maybe this person wasn't really giving you much to work on and so you were confused as to the connection or where the connection was going but this person is coming back grounded balanced and aligned and speaking your love language so that's beautiful i see that this is the way that it looks to be um to be ending here so let's get some more messages we're going to post some messages from the light seers Let's see what we got coming in. So on the bottom of the deck, we have the Wheel of Fortune. So this is a destiny type thing. I feel like this is destined. Everything you've been through was a part of your destiny. Uh, this is something you had to experience in order to learn to love yourselves, in order to set healthy boundaries, in order to practice self-love, self-care, uh, in order to even stand in your truth and in your power. So this Wheel of Fortune speaks to abundance rolling in, great fortune coming for you. Um, I feel like you, uh, especially with the success card, I just feel like there's money coming in, wish fulfillment. There could be job offers. There could be business investments, deals, loans. Um, this is just expansion here is what I'm picking up. And we have the fool. So there's someone willing to take that risk, that deep dive, ready to you know, take that leap of faith with you, you know, because now they see that um, they want to invest. And I feel like this is the person that you've been waiting for because we have temperance and the wheel uh, of fortune together. So this is someone that's literally been, you know, kind of like getting themselves together, really trying to plan and prepare uh, their move, how to make their move, how to come towards you. Uh, and you're very guarded with the nine of wands energy. So you're very guarded. Um, the way this card is depicted is she's holding uh, a staff that's lit at the top. And then she has uh, other wands um, that is creating like that line in the sand. It's like a fence almost. She's she's you know, there's like this this boundary that she set up with the wands. And so you're very guarded. And that's why it's because you've learned um to be more caring, more loving to yourself and not to allow others to take uh, you for granted. So someone is having that aha moment. Someone's had an aha moment, an epiphany. Um, they're looking at things from a different perspective with the hangman. Um, and this is someone that absolutely understands the value of divine timing. Divine timing is the perfect timing. That's why the divine was telling you good things take time to create patience, young grasshopper, because it's almost as if the prayers and the petitions you've been sending up as that alchemist, as that magi, as that uh, wizard, as that oracle, um, they are coming into fruition. But it, someone has to do their work before uh, they could come in. And there goes the ten, uh, the eight of cups, excuse me. So you have walked away from those connections, those relationships that left you feeling emotionally bankrupt um, because their energy, the people you were dealing with, uh, their energy just wasn't right. You knew something else was going on. Um, you knew and that's confirmation the train is going by. So you knew there was other things going on, other people involved, third party shenanigans. We did see choose wisely. Someone made a choice and it was just not what they thought it was going to be. But you walked away and walking away is a very powerful um, stance. It's a very powerful statement. Um, and you're walking towards the sun because you've been illuminated. You've been clear um, as to who you are and what you what you represent and just how magical and powerful you are. Um, and remember, you had sun goddess, so you represent, you, you realize and recognize that you all are goddesses. Um, and you ha you've become illuminated to that truth. And so we have the Heath brothers. This is called Smiling Billy Suit. So, yeah, now you're smiling because life is good. 
Um, you're now starting to reap what you've sown, which is good karma. You got the three of swords here with the eight of cups. So you walked away from heartbreak. You walked away from disappointment. You walked away from emotional loss and you're, you're happier now. Um, and I feel that this three of cups is showing that there's somebody, uh, that you may be acquainted with already because the three of cups sounds is more of an energy of someone returning, uh, someone reuniting. Um, so that is possible because you have the secret admirer and they're returning to offer you this ace of cups. This ace of cups is everything that this secret admirer, remember you had emotional longevity, stability, uh, and security clarifying those messages. And so this is what this person is willing to invest this time around is, you know, full love. They could be up in their head about it. They could be, you know, kind of um, in two minds trying to figure out how to do it, strategies, plans, um, procedures. But this person absolutely loves you. And this is someone I feel the divine um, is aligning you with. This is someone you're familiar with because they do uh, want to reunite. And we have, um, who is this? We have Narls Barkley, and this is called Crazy. So this person could be going crazy. They're probably crazy in love. They are watching you. See that? with this? We got the Page of Swords here with the Three of Cups. So this is someone from your past, someone you know, someone you're familiar with. And this is a Nars Barkley. This is India Irie crazy. So India Irie crazy. So this person is crazy about you. This is somebody that really likes what they see. That love your 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 transformation. This page of swords is literally like she's just kind of studying. So this person's studying you, trying to figure out how to come towards you. They're they're getting these light bulb moments though. They're having these epiphanies. They're having these epiphanies and they're seeing things from a completely different perspective, but they do want to come in and get some things off their chest and, and really reveal their feels like they really do want to reveal their feels. They've already made the decision to come your way and there is distance and travel necessary for them to see you. I feel you all are at a distance because we have the two of wands here. So they're watching you. They could be watching you via online, like I said. This person definitely has to travel to see you, but they've made a decision as I was picking up. Someone was in two minds in the past, perhaps, and maybe they are now, you know, realizing. And there's a page of wands here. So they are going to come out of hiding. You know, they're going to come out of hiding and they're going to express their feelings. And the, I see a victory here with the six of wands. You're going to be very excited. You're going to be very happy. This is like success and breakthrough. So there could be some sort of breakthrough. That's also representing like marriage and other people seeing that. So we have, look at this, the 10 of cups. I cannot make this shit up. Look at this. I want to show you as you know, like I, I like to show and prove. So this is what's coming and this is what's clarifying the secret admirer. Didn't I say that this person that's coming in is coming in to invest. They can see that happy house, happy spouse with you. This is that secret admirer. This person is definitely crazy in love. I was hearing crazy in love, Beyonce song. And this person definitely feels is crazy for you. This person is crazy. They can see. And then look what's on the bottom of the deck. The lovers. This is someone you have a very strong chemistry and connection with. This is someone that could have been juggling you in the past. Or maybe they was in, you know, another connection or relationship but this is someone that's a secret admirer and I feel you're familiar with this person. And with this 10 of cups, they could see happy house, happy spouse. They could see building a legacy, a family, investing. This is someone that's willing to compromise. This is someone that's very emotionally intelligent. They speak your love language. This is absolutely someone that may have been hiding their feelings for quite some time, which is why you may have walked away. Because they weren't giving you anything. But I feel that there's always been this chemistry, this strength, this synergy. They could be a tall gentleman that you are um, attracting Scorpios. Someone that could have locks or someone that can um, be brown skin or this could be, you know, whatever it is, you know, regardless. Um, this is definitely somebody. With whom I feel like it, this can lead to marriage. This is a spiritual union. This is a very beautiful connection here. So why is life is good? You are a miracle. 
And this is what this these these haters are hating is that you're coming into a beautiful love connection with someone and this person is going to treat you right because we had that um song by Queen of Queen Latifah, ladies first. So this is that alpha male that will put their lady first, that will protect their lady, you know, provide for their lady, be supportive of their lady or vice versa. That feminine energy that will be protective and be supportive of their masculine. And we have um, Eurythmics. Here comes the rain again. So somebody is absolutely going to be crying over you because you've moved on. And we have life is good. And then we have temperance. And then you are a miracle and you deserve the best. So temperance came out to clarify life is good and you are a miracle. And so that's it's it's divine timing. Everything requires divine timing. Good things take time to create. And I feel like, the, as I said, the angels, the ancestors are conspiring behind the scene to bring balance, to bring this union into alignment. And I feel both of you and the person you're attracting were necess or were needing to to, you know, find your own balance, to love yourselves, to do your own healing, your own inner work. And here comes the rain again. Rain represents water. All right, let me see. So divine timing is of the essence. Selfish loving me, myself, and I. What does their energy speak to your spirit? See that? You play in chestnut checkers with people. Because somebody's coming in, you know, this, well, this was someone you was in a relationship with uh, that could have been very guarded, very blocked, very controlling, very narcissistic, me, 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 I, 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 my way of the highway. And you walked away because with this ten of swords, you felt like they betrayed you. But I feel like you ultimately took your power back when you started to focus on self-love, self-care. Because their energy just didn't speak to your energy in the way, you know, like she's saying, talk to me like lovers do in this song. Here comes the rain again by the Eurythmics. So talk to me like lovers do. And so here comes the rain again. Falling on my head like a memory. Falling on my head like a new emotion. So this is like that to me. This is like somebody just kind of gaslighting. You know, just as somebody just kind of argumentative. This is somebody that could have betrayed you. Like I said, just as someone just, you know, speaking because they have lips. But this is that liar, that deceiver. This is someone that cheats. This is someone that just says what they think they need to say just to win. Because this person will try to do anything to win at all costs. Somebody's definitely spying on your life. Spying, spying, spying. Praying on your downfall is what I'm about to clarify. We got this on the bottom of the deck. I want to show you again. This is the seven of, I mean, the page of swords. And what they're doing, this is what we're about to clarify. And they're hoping to, you know, pull on your heartstrings. Because this is the energy here that we're about to clarify. Praying on your downfall, watch them. And then you have people who are in secret competition with you. Keep your business to yourself and your vulnerability is your superpower. So this person is definitely hoping and, and, and gambling with the fact that you'll, you know, still fall for whatever emotional manipulation that they were able to pull before. Because this is, you know, th this is you learning. The Ten of Swords, you're walking away finally. You know, you, you're, you're very aware, you know, that you need to pull your energy back from people that demand so much from you. And you're going according. Your, your back is turned from this, this, um, this emperor, you know. And this person thinks they've won some sort of battle or some sort of, you know, war. But you, you've won because you walked away. Like I said before, you know, walking away from something that's toxic, that is the most powerful act one can have that's the most powerful thing you could ever do and you're focusing now on loving yourself you're focusing now on doing those things that make you feel good on enjoying your life and not being burdened by someone's lies and deception and double talking and controlling ways their stubbornness their ego is way out of control and I feel like you know in many ways you took your power back now you're in control you're the leader the sole controller of your life and your destiny 
Why is praying on your downfall? You have people who are in secret competition. Your vulnerability is your superpower here for who's praying on Scorpio's downfall. And why? I have a message of love and light. Okay. Three of swords. See that? So they're, they're angry. These are people who broke your heart, but they frustrated because you've, you've created a boundary and you walked away. We got the nine of pentacles. Not only did you walk away, but now you are in a position of, you know, stability. Like I said before, they destroyed what you were building, but you were able to rebuild and get back on your feet so quickly. And this is what's causing them angst. This is what's call, causing them frustration is because they were not expecting you to be able to recover so quickly. And it's because you realize that you are stronger than you gave yourself credit for. And so right now we got Mob Deep and Little Kim, the quiet storm. So you were that quiet storm. You know what I'm saying? You quietly was planting seeds. Look how happy you are cheesing. It's like you're, you're getting positive results from the things you're doing. If you've started a business, you're getting a lot of uh, sales. You're seeing your activity up. You're seeing just a lot of positive feedback. You know, things are looking up for you. And this is why they're praying on your downfall, because you appear to be very successful and very stable and independent. Code, you know, no longer are you codependent on anyone else for your stability or your self-sufficiency. Like you are standing perpendicular in your square and you're doing so with joy. This is literally life is good. This is the depiction of what life is good looks like with this nine of pentacles. So whatever you've been working on is very successful for you. A lot of you are, um, you know, things have expanded in many ways. You're very ambitious with this energy. And I feel like you're, you're enjoying that. This is pre-emperor status. I feel like you're juggling a lot. You're handling a lot. But you're doing so, you know, effortlessly. It's like you, you're, you're literally enjoying what you're doing so all of that heartbreak these people are pissed off ticked off that you know your heartbreak didn't have you paralyzed in fear instead you turn that pain into power and you've been co-creating with source this is what the alchemy looks like you've been very busy working in on your craft mastering your craft honing skills and now you're starting to see the harvest you're starting to see things blossom and bloom so why is child's play? What doesn't kill you? Lion ass shift happens here for who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? Why is child's play? Immaturity. What doesn't kill you make you stronger? Thank you. This is the two of wands. So now this is that person that was stuck at a fork in the road. Now they want to come back. They're, they could be at a distance. They're getting karma. And that's why their asses is sitting here, you know, stuck on stupid because You've made the decision to move forward. You're not you're not looking back. Shift happens. There's been a change. There's been a shift. You're relocating. You're moving like you've already relocated or moved like you're no longer like holding on uh, to anything from your past because it just doesn't mesh right with your spirit, with your vibration. All it did was make you stronger. And so you're going to use that strength to go towards your own dreams and aspirations and you're doing so quietly privately you know with this quiet storm playing by mob deep and little kim i am absolutely feeling like you a lot of y'all was very strategic you know you didn't you didn't say anything about what you was doing or how you was doing it i feel like a lot of y'all just quietly planned your your escape and with this two of wands you're, you're, you're moving away from that energy. You're not even looking at these cards. Your back is turned to this childish energy. Your back is turned. It's like you saw what you needed to see. And I feel like with justice at the bottom of the deck, along with the queen, the king of swords and the sun, you absolutely are very illuminated, very clear to what, what was going on behind your back, you know, and what's best for you ultimately. This is powerful. And we got Jacob, Jacob, and this is called true shit. So, yeah. So, yeah, you, you recognize the truth. I feel like the divine also has acknowledged, you know, with this justice card that, um, you know, whoever was not operating within the 
universal karmic laws, they're going to receive karma. They're going to receive, you know, it's like what you reap, you reap what you sow. And remember, you had uh, life is good. What you put out, you get back. So that's why you're receiving a lot of good energy, whereas your enemies and those frenemies and those people lurking in the background that are preying on your downfall, I feel like they're also receiving, receiving karma. And they're receiving it because, remember, you had Archangel Mikael, you know, fiery wall of protection show up. So you're receiving some sort of truth. You're receiving some sort of good karma. I feel like things are going to be handled fairly and justly for you. Why is you will know I hide what I feel out of fear. Truth is I love you here. That also could represent like a marriage, a future marriage. Someone coming in speaking a truth. Why is you will know I hide what I feel out of fear. Truth is I love you here. For who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why. Look at this. The ace of pentacles, y'all. Stop playing. The ace of pentacles just flew out. This is why I hide what I feel. Somebody's coming in to offer you something real, something tangible. You had the ten of cups in the beginning of the reading with the secret admirer and what they want, which is this emotional investment, longevity, stability, security. And now you have I hide what I feel out of fear. Truth is I love you. Somebody's coming in to offer you something real, something tangible. This is marriage. This is commitment. This is someone offering you know, this is someone like literally proposing. This is someone gifting you with a ring, gifting you with some sort of um, some sort of gift, promise ring. This is stability. This is uh, honestly, this is like I just see that as like a long term commitment marriage. And it says true shit. So this is somebody being honest. And look what's on the bottom of the deck. The Ten of Pentacles. You got the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. Come on now, Scorpios. This is what you're attracting. And this is why these haters are hating. Because these people that were playing games, they failed miserably. The games they was playing, they got played, basically. And, and you had to learn a lot. You got the Ten of Swords, the Three of Swords here. So this was no easy cakewalk for you, you know. But also, you're also, you rule death. So these were like death-like experiences to you because what doesn't kill you makes you stronger also came out with underneath the child's play along with lying as the truth ain't in you. So you had people that was lying to your face, constantly lying, constantly playing games, constantly manipulating, constantly toying with your emotions, constantly trying to do things to gaslight, to sabotage. And you just kept taking it and taking it, taking it with the Ten of Swords. That's the ultimate betrayal, the ultimate deception. And that was when the shit hit the fan and you was like, enough is enough. I'm, I'm done, done, Finn. And so you've moved on and you chose to love yourselves. You chose to heal yourselves. You chose to focus on yourself. And that's what made these individuals mad to the point where they're now trying to prey on your downfalls plot and scheme some plan to cause your demise because they can't live with the fact that you've taken your power back and the fact that you're coming into a very beautiful healthy connection the ten of pentacles is that happy house happy spouse the happily ever after you're going to be with somebody that's going to be loyal to you supportive of you someone willing to compromise someone willing to invest long term this is someone that doesn't they're not afraid of commitment if anything they're running towards you for that because they see that you speak their love language. And we got Nipsey Hussle last time that I checked. So I feel like this person does check up on you regularly because that's that secret admirer. And the last time they checked, they just saw someone that they absolutely are, you know, smitten with. This is beautiful, Scorpios. Y'all got really beautiful, beautiful energy coming in. And you got a lot of haters Hating the fact that you are moving on with your lives. I feel that you all are blocking out the negativity. You're blocking out those energy vampires. You're blocking out those ex-friends, those ex-lovers, those ex-family members that already backstabbed, deceived, lied, and cheated. Because this Ten of Swords is literally like you can't get stabbed in the back by anybody other than those closest to you, Scorpios. Because you don't allow outsiders in. So whenever you get the Ten of Swords, that had to be a very painful um, realization that the people you trusted were not worthy of your trust. So those are people closest to you that betrayed you, that deceived you, that hurt you, that broke your, your circle of trust. 
So that's a very painful aha moment or epiphany to have. But now that you have that, you're very clear as to what you need to cut out of your life, what you need to cut off from you. And that's what you're going to do. That's why you're moving forward straight towards the sun with this Ten of um, Swords energy. You know, this is the sun goddess. You recognize you are the goddess. You are the God. You are that divine feminine, divine masculine. And ultimately that you are a miracle and you deserve the best. So you know not to settle anymore. You know that you are, you know, you deserve way better than that. You know your worth and value. And so these individuals are really pissed off, ticked off that you have awakened and that you have taken your power back because I feel many of these people benefited from you being kind of like, you know, in 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 uh, self-denial, you know, kind of like wearing rose colored glasses. You know, this is what that that this this anger, this frustration is because they really benefited. They had to get a lot from you, you know, whether it be money, time, energy, um, your attention, whatever it was. It's like they're they're frustrated now because they don't have it because you're being more selfish opposed to being selfless. But this is your reading Scorpios. Watch your back, middle, front. Do what you have to do to keep um, all of your social media platforms privatized unless you trust, um, you know, that all is well. Like, you know, just just be mindful to do your due diligence to protect your energy, to protect your information um, and keep a watchful eye, uh, you know, for people around you. You know, anybody coming back pretending to be someone that has changed, but you still see the same behavior. You need to cut that energy off that you, you really don't need to, to deal with that type of energy. And I know it can be difficult if you may have children with those individuals, but if your children are old enough, um, just let your children communicate with their, that, with that other parent, you know, especially if you know that this person, uh, doesn't have your best interest at heart and it is an energy vampire or someone very manipulative um, and we have Junior Reed, One Blood. So it absolutely can be family members. This could be people that are closest to you. Because with One Blood, I do feel like this could be blood relatives. Or this could be someone that could be the fathers or the mothers of your children. Um, but I do feel like this is um, the energy they try to use to manipulate you. Like, look, we're blood. You know, you're supposed to take my shit. No, you're not. You know, you set those healthy boundaries and and you guard yourself and protect yourself until you see these individuals take accountability and responsibility for their actions. You know, you have every right to protect yourself, to protect your peace. And if someone does not respect that, then they don't deserve to be in your life to begin with. But um, this is your readings, beloved Scorpios. Uh, you do have a secret admirer that I feel is going to become ultimately like your your spouse, your husband, your wife. Um, this is someone that has very good intentions for you and for the future they see themselves having um, with you. This is someone coming in to offer you something real, something tangible. I feel like a lot of you all are going to have some, um, you're going to have some really bright futures ahead and a very successful one at that. You know, you're going to be very happy, very satisfied. But uh, this is your reading, beloved Scorpios. Um, I hope the message has resonated. If you found that it did, please be kind. Hit the like, share, subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload. If you are new, I hope you stay a while. If you are returning, uh, you already know what it is. <laughs> love is love is love. Until next time. Ashe. Peace.